Hi everyone, this is Josh today and today we're here with my another video and today I'm going to talk about another big problem. Everyone heard today that we are going crazy about coronavirus all over the part of the world and it is driving us crazy. People are going nuts. People are buying hand sanitizer. People are buying groceries. Markets are out. So what we can do? So in this video, I am going to show you today a trick. Uh, you can make a hand sanitizer at home by things that you already have at home. Yes, you heard it right. You can make hand sanitizer by things you already have it at home. And I'm going to go one by one today with ingredients. Just a little disclaimer that this ingredients, if you are allergic, don't use this ingredients for uh, the hand sanitizer. I will try to give you alternative formula for that if it possible but again this is not a professional video and I'm not a professional doctor that making a product I am only trying to help people they can make something that do they can do some hand sanitizer uh, use for their hands or other body parts probably but it's only for external use not for internal so let's go ahead and we can make the first one pause So guys, step one, the most important thing, we need ingredients. And I'll tell you one thing. I have seen other videos where people are actually using aloe vera gel, 100% uh, alcohol solution to make this uh, hand sanitizers. But I'll tell you that these are common things that you can get around the house. Again, aloe vera, when I went to the market, there was no aloe vera gel, no hand sanitizer. But I'll tell you, there's an alternative to that. You can use aloe vera, the real aloe vera extract. I'm going to show you. This is the ingredient one. Look, so this is an aloe vera, uh, the, the real plant. We can use this to extract and real gel to make an hand sanitizer. This will be our ingredient one. Our ingredient second. We can use um, the any of the aloe vera or any of the body wash if you don't want to use water. Okay, to make it a little bit thicker. Our second, uh, I mean third one, is our alcohol. So people try to use 100% alcohol and so we don't work in a lab so we don't have that sitting around the house so we can use any alcohol which is about 40% so I can recommend vodka or uh, tequila which is most of transparent alcohol we can use one of these okay this can be a very handy and I'm sure a lot of you have it we can use any of the oils that can be used in oil uh, house. We can use lavender oil, rose oil, any of this that can be used, okay? Uh, another one, the last one, uh, I'm sorry, the second last one is the lotion, lotion, moisturizing lotion. This is gonna be, we're gonna be needed. And the last one is, we're gonna be using a beaker, the measuring beaker. And uh, I forget one of them, that we can use uh, a pair of gloves as well because a lot of people a lot of people can be allergic to um, alcohol or oil so we can use um, uh, the gloves to make for the entire process so these are some things that we can use it um, aloe vera especially we can get it either from the market it's very cheap to um, the, the plant or we can a lot of our neighbors have this you can cut it ask the neighbor and bring it so let's go ahead and start the process of making our hand sanitizer today go ahead all right guys so i'm here with the step two my gloves are on and we took the extract for that aloe vera i showed you earlier so here's the extract for the aloe vera and this is about 300 ml and I am focusing on making about 900 ml of uh, hand sanitizer today 900 ml is a lot that's like that's gonna last you over six months maybe more and once you make that I think 
you're set. So now we we have a shot glass we're gonna use, um, and we gonna use our vodka right now. We're gonna use about let's say about two forty uh, ml of vodka. Why is that? I'll tell you. We have forty percent of alcohol in this vodka, and forty percent of let's say so this is about three hundred ml, and forty percent of six hundred is about. 240 ml so I'm gonna pour here about 240 ml so one shot glass about 30 ml here so let's see one two three so and this is about about 100 ml and let's see next one two three okay another 100 ml of vodka and about one more cup about 40 okay so guys about 240 I'm gonna go ahead and try to mix it a little mix it a bit so it can um, the texture can get a little bit a um, little bit thick because when we're gonna use uh, rest of our products here our body lotion our oil then we need it a little bit thick texture already okay Anyways, so next we can go ahead and use our, um, so 900 um, ml, so we used about 240 ml of our uh, liquor here. So 300 plus 240 is 540 and 900 minus 540 is about 360 left. So we're gonna use our, this moisturizing lotion about 200 ml of that, okay? So let's see. Let's use the same shot glass. 200 ml is gonna be a lot, so let's try. Actually, I'm gonna try, let's about 150 of it. Eyes filling up shot glass pretty quick. I know this is kind of sounds a lot, but um, the texture, if you don't put it, it's that it's gonna be too light when we put it on our hands, and all we're gonna feel is alcohol if we don't put it about 200 ml here. So that's why we need it here. Okay, and we're almost done with this. Okay, this is almost done. It's about 200 ml. Okay, so we are here about 200 ml and and we also need to put about 150 of our body lotion that we used. I'm gonna take out and go ahead and pour it in. So this is about 150, okay? So you see, it's about getting close to 800, right? You can tell right now. And now, the last part we have to we get about 40 or 50 of our oil this is the oil we use it 
for the fragrance because this is gonna um, smell a little weird so we're gonna put a little bit of oil here okay okay this aloe vera now keep in mind that we did put a lot of moisturizing a lot of uh, this body body wash oil and a little bit of that thick oil that we use here and like I said you could use lavender and other any other this is gonna help you just smell better when you mix this well this is gonna um, this is gonna when you put it on your hand this is gonna be actually like a hand sanitizer when you rub it enough this is gonna be enough so let's move on to step last step Hi guys, so we're at the step three and our solution is ready, hand sanitizer. Uh, because of the viscosity of uh, aloe vera, it's very thick. I suggest you that we can, um, in the end, we can put it in a blender and we can give it a shake. It's going to come up very nice, but I didn't give it a shake and I'm going to show it to you. It's almost about 900 ml and look at this. This will be a little bit thick like this, but look. I'm gonna put it on my hand and look this is gonna go away right here and it is almost like a hand sanitizer and I will not uh, tell you that it will kill 100% of all the bacteria but but 90% this will work because it has about 40% of alcohol and if you uh, are able to make something like that at home this will be very good um, I have given you something today uh, to um, to proceed with for hand sanitizer don't go out crazy because you don't have hand sanitizers, hand sanitizers you can make it at home and this is a lot and I'm gonna put it in a bottles a big bottle small bottle of hand sanitizer don't throw it away use this to fill it take it at your work take it outside this um, I am pretty sure it should work um, it's better than having nothing so anyhow Take care, um, we're going to subscribe and turn on the bell for my other videos and I will be getting out new videos soon. Take care, goodbye, I'll see you again. Good night.